food, paying for everything. She's living off me, bro, while cheating on me. And um, apparently, I'm guessing this is when she would go cheat on me, is when, um, because she goes to school two days a week, and she would tell me like, um, hey, babe, uh, my house is closer to my school. So I'm going to go spend the night at my house the days before I got school. So she would go home two times a week. And I wouldn't question it. Like, yeah, you're in school, educated, you know, educated fucking princess. Go do your thing. Go sleep at home. Little did I know where the fuck she was going. You know what I mean? Um, so anyways, and then, bro, to make, to make everything crazy, I'm already, like, flipping out at this point. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know, damn, like, I've been getting cheated on, like, whatever. And then uh, I get a screenshot Jasmine sends her ex a DM and she uses her sister's Instagram account because um, I never went through Jasmine's phone. I'm not that type of person. I don't go through people's phones. You're just setting yourself up for a disaster if you go through people's phones. But maybe she thought I'd go through her phone. So she used to use her sister's Instagram to co uh, contact her ex so that I would never see it in case I ever uh, went through her Instagram. So she used to use her sisters. So for sisters in this live, fuck you. Because I've done a lot for you too. Her sister has a fucking room in this house. In my house. Her sister has her own fucking bed and her own separate room. Because of how many times she would spend the night. How many times she would sleep over. So fuck you. For, for you know, covering up for your sister like that. Her sister used to come here. Jasmine used to tell me, Babe, my sister's bored at home. She has nothing to do. Can she come here and hang out with us? I'm like, yeah, I order her food. Her food is ready on this fucking table by the time she even walks in. If, if her sister didn't want to, you know, uh, hop in an Uber and drive back home or get in an Uber and go back home because her sister doesn't even drive for some reason. She's like 20 or 21 years old. She still doesn't drive. I would get her an Uber back home, pay for it myself. But just in case she didn't want to get in an Uber because it was late or whatever, she had her own fucking room in my house. Bro, none of my family even has a room in this house. None of my friends have a room in this house. And her sister had a room in this fucking house. So fuck you, Jasmine's sister, for covering up for fucking Jasmine. But anyways, what the message read that Jasmine sent her ex um, from her sister's account and it was in Spanish. Uh, this guy doesn't speak English. And Jasmine doesn't speak Spanish. So it makes it, I don't understand. She uses like a translator to talk to him. So I don't like whatever, bro. So she sends him a message in Spanish. And I obviously had this person translate it for me because I don't speak Spanish. But she goes pretty much, um, hey, please listen to me. Keep in mind, guys, Jasmine is fucking dating me. She's sleeping in my fucking bed. She's scratching my back, telling me she loves me and she wants to marry me. But she's sending her ex a message in Spanish that translates to, um, baby, if I don't send you this message, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. I just want to tell you you're my true love. I dream about you every day. You're the love of my life. Blah, blah, blah. Bro, I'm fuming at this point. I'm fuming.